Ah, jeez. Ah. <coughs> ah, Excuse me. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Pokemon Theta Emerald Nuzlocke Challenge, the episode one. Now, for anyone curious, like, why the heck am I doing this series in the first place? It's because I'm sick, and Terraria takes, like, 83 years to progress in. So I figured I might as well do this thing as a side project for funsies. Um, I'm coughing all the time, so I might have to cut some stuff out, because I'm, I'm coughing and stuff. But, I mean, I, like, I'm dying, pretty much. Like, inside. Anyway, Pokemon Theta Emerald. Bleh, excuse me. Bleh, bleh. Pokemon Theta Emerald. Jeez. Is a ROM hack of Pokemon Emerald. That pretty much makes it so that, um, it's, it's like a P Pokemon Emerald 386, if anyone's ever heard of that, where you can catch all 386 Pokemon, but, <coughs> jeez, <coughs> excuse me, it's gonna be cut out, probably, maybe, but, um, it's like that, except there's 650 Pokemon from all the regions in this game, so, we, we're going to encounter all kinds of fun stuff. And there's a physical special split. Uh, new ways to evolve Pokemon. Um, all kinds of crazy fun stuff. This is 370% blind, by the way. I have no idea what's going to happen. Never played this. I've played Pokemon Emerald, yeah, but I've never played this version in particular. Never played Theta Emerald. So, that's, that's fun. What did, what did I set my select to? X. Okay. So that's fun. Um, it's also a Nuzlocke challenge. What the heck's a Nuzlocke? You ask? Well, if you want a typed out version of the rules, it'll be in the description, but I'll try to describe it as best I can. Basically, I can only catch one Pokemon per route. So I, can't, I can only catch one, I can't catch any more. And if a Pokemon fades, it's considered dead, and I can never use it again. Now, there are some exceptions, like, for example, which is probably not going to happen, but if I were to find a shiny Pokemon, I could just catch that thing. And then there's the dupes clause, where if I find a Pokemon in the wild that I've already caught, but I don't want to have two, you know, the same Pokemon, I could just catch a different one. I'm not very good at explaining it, but it'll be in the description. Pokemon Theta Emerald also, it doesn't really change anything too crazy about Pokemon Emerald. It does change, it does, it does change some stuff. For example, uh, what time is it actually here? It's 6.36 p.m. Um, it does change trainer encounters, wild encounters, and gym and Elite Four and all that stuff. So it's pretty much like Pokemon Emerald plus one. That's that's about right. Nice. Okay. Also, I'm gonna be speeding up the game every now and then, just like that, because some stuff just takes for, forever to to you know go through. And I ain't about that. Like walking. I I don't got time to walk. We gotta play, you know. So uh, if all of my Pokemon were to die then, sweet Jesus, it's over. We've lost the Nuzlocke. Anyway, uh, I, I'd assume that most people here have played Pokemon Emerald. It's a pretty popular game. Um, duh. But, I, I obviously, you know, the fact that the Pokemon are changing stuff, this is gonna make this a pretty crazy experience. All kinds of fun stuff. So, we're, we're gonna, we're almost there. Where we can get our first starter. I don't even know what the starters are, to be honest. Also, one last thing before we jump into our first battle. I have changed the battle style to set. What does that mean? Good question. You know, alright, I'll give an example. Say you got a Trico or something. You send them out, you use Pound, you kill their Pokemon. It would ask you if you want to change Pokemon, like to switch it out. Set does not allow you to change it. So it's pretty much like playing Pokemon in hard mode. You'll see it, um... Pretty soon, once we get into a trainer that is more than one Pokemon. But, you know, right now, you're not going to see too much of it. Alright, so it looks like it's just the normal starters. This is our first Pokemon. 
I'm gonna shut my eyes right now. I'm friggin' pick it. Let's see what we got here. Trico. Cool. Alright, let's see this. Our first battle. This is our first battle. It's a zigzagoon. Common. There's also decapitalization, which is cool. And if we go with the summary, I'll <coughs> show you that uh, for the physical... Oh, we have absorb already. For the physical special split, it shows power and then the sign whether or not it's physical status or special and then, you know, the, the power of the move. So Trico right now is rocking higher special attack, uh, special attack so we're going to be using Absorb. And pretty much we're going to go for the easy KO on this Zigzagoon. So that's nice. Trico is our first party member. Anyway, I'm going to think of a name for this home dog and I'll get back to you guys. So I'll see you all in a jiffy. Alright, I thought of something and I've raised the volume up three points. Anyway, we get a Trico now because we saved stupid guy's life. And it's commonplace in a Nuzlocke to nickname your Pokemon. So, I'm going to nickname Trico, oh jeez, Geico, where's the G, you know, like the Geico Gecko from the Australian commercials, I, I don't know, he's, he's, he's got an Australian accent, you know, he's like, it's 25% more on car insurance, there's my sponsor, right there, first sponsor, Geico, alright, so now we gotta go out and fight May, like in real life, hold on a second, stop it, do you give me anything? Uh -huh. We never know. <laughs> yeah, I'm sick. We never know. So I'm sorry about the coughing, by the way. Some some of these guys might give me something just for funsies. Um, by the way, the Nuzlocke doesn't start until we get our Pokeballs, so it doesn't really matter if I die here. But I'm obviously gonna try not to. If I talk to you, you can give me a free potion. So obviously, I'm not trying to die. But. It doesn't matter until we get our first... Ooh, a Cricketot. Woo! Look at that cutie. It doesn't matter until we get our first Pokemon. So, everyone keep that in mind. I'm just going to go up to level... Oh, that's awesome. This is how we lose the Nuzlocke right here. Yeah. It doesn't It doesn't count yet. It doesn't count yet. Nuzlocke doesn't start until we get our Pokeballs. Let me just raise myself to level 6. You never know. Ooh, Purloin. All kinds of crazy stuff we're finding out here. Okay. So, no. I didn't die yet. Nuzlocke don't start till we get our Pokeballs. Hopefully this Torchic doesn't completely destroy me. Also, you might notice that some of the Pokemon have new sprites. That's just dandy. Sorry about that jump cut. I just erupted into a coughing fit at full power. Anyway. Here's our first rival battle. Let's see what this fool has. A Torchic level 5. This is going to be an absolute murder, folks. An absolute murder. What? Oh. You playing. You playing. Nah. This fool's got Ember? How am I supposed to even compete against that? Okay. There's, there's a plan. We could go to level 7. That's right. Level 7. I didn't want to have to do it, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. By the way, Absorb does more damage than Pound. So we gotta watch out for that. Let's go to 8, just to be sure. I can't believe that thing just completely butchered me. Ended my life. But, yeah, well anyway, I want to talk about the physical special split. Um, that's awesome, because that makes a lot of Pokemon who previously weren't too usable, way, way more usable. So that's... That's awesome, man. Like, you know? Finally get a... Some Pokemon will finally get a chance to shine. Especially considering I will be pretty much forced against my will to use them. Alright, now let's actually... Let's actually take me to Pound Town, if you know what I mean. And win this fight. Wow, a lot, a lot of Pokemon you can find here. Which is fun. Alright, fool. You're about to get completely curb stomped. That's what I thought. Around me. That does... Come on, man! I don't want to waste my potions, because this doesn't even matter yet. Oh, thank God for that critical. By the way, that's an accurate foreshadowing of this the future of this entire series, just me getting completely destroyed by May. So, now we gotta go all the way back to the lab. But since I am a triathlon runner who can move way too fast, easy. 
Okay, wait, hold up. We get our Pokédex. And... Where, where are those Pokéballs? Give me those balls. Give me them. Pokéballs! The Nuzlocke has officially began, ladies and gentlemen. So if we lose Trico, as of right now, we pretty much lose the game. So we're going we're gonna to have to be, like, very, 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 very careful. Obviously, uh, speeding up doesn't really help with that, but... I don't know, I get kind of bored playing Pokemon Emerald. Well, if we encounter a Pokemon here, we can catch it, and then we can't catch another Pokemon after it. So let's see what our first new team member is. It's going to be a Poochiana. Alright, strong physical attacker there. I'll pop you with an Absorb. Please don't kill it. I don't think it will. Oh my god! Oh Jesus. That's gonna this this series is gonna take a few years off my life, I'm telling you. Let's just hug some balls at it. Wow. That was way too close. I didn't like that one bit. Well anyway, now we got a new team member, Poochiana. Poochiana. Uh, I gotta think of a nickname for this thing. Oh wow, that's cool. When we catch a Pokemon, we still get experience for it. Not that we're going to be catching too much Pokemon, but that's still cool. Anyway, i got to think of a nickname for Poochyana real quick, so I'll get back to you guys when I think of a dope nickname. Alright, I thought of a pretty appro appropriate nickname for this guy. Girl, excuse me. Uh, we're going to name him G-Money, because uh, he's got golden eyes, and that's that's pretty cool. Also, I think it's pretty pimp that you just feel like, you know, so every now and then you can just say, yo, gonna switch out into G-Money real quick. By the way, another notice. That was really, 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 really close. Oh, it's Jolly Nature? That's actually a really good nature. That lowers special attack, raises speed. It's good stuff. And Tackle does, has 50 base power. Okay. Well, I think now would be a good time to train up your boy G-Money. I don't want to lose him, so I'm going to switch train into Trico. He's a centret. We probably could have found some other cool stuff on this route, but it doesn't really matter too much. I'm satisfied with G-Money. I'm satisfied. So this ROM hack, I re I'm really hoping I don't lose like super early off, because this hack is hard. Like, if you can't already tell. I'm not going to overtrain though, because if I overtrain, it's not as fun. Because you know that, like, obviously, if I'm 10 levels above the enemy Pokemon, I'm going to win. But as of right now, G Money's too weak to do jack shit, so I'd rather not get train wrecked by a level 3 Starly. Level 2 Starly, wow. Come on, G Money, you can do better than that. We'll switch train to one more level, and then we'll, we'll let G Money take to the skies. And uh, other stuff. Oh, yeah, excuse me. One more rule about Nuzlocke. Say I need an HM, like Rock Smash or something, and none of my Pokemon can learn it. I, I am allowed to catch another Pokemon and use it um, only for Rock Smash. I doubt that'll really happen, because, I mean, it probably won't. But that is the case. Ooh, G Money learned how. Now we can be setting up all kinds of attack boosts on noobs well i'm gonna raise g money a couple levels off screen and i'll get back to you guys when that when i'm said done with that game. well okay g money has reached level six that's baller okay now before we move on to the next route i'm just gonna heal up really quick also worth mentioning g money has the ability runaway which is gonna come in handy a lot most likely during what you calls it? It's during uh, tricky situations with wild Pokemon. Anyway, if we go into the Mart, we're d obviously we're gonna need to stock up on some stuff. Um, Pokeballs. Ooh. Oh no way! This this game fucks you in the ass with money. Oh Jesus! All right, we're gonna need two precautionary antidotes on us at all times. I already I have two potions, and I would like. Three Pokeballs. Okay, that should be good for now. Also, talking to strangers is good. Don't take that the wrong way, but some po some dudes have all kinds of fun stuff that they might want to give you or stuff, because this is 
Not the same emerald, but the same at the same time. Route 103. That's a new route, if I'm not mistaken. Route 101. Okay, and is this Route 102? It is. Okay. So, right off the bat, we can already catch three new Pokemon. Um, for now, I'm only going to catch one, which is going to be right up here in Route 103. That's good now that we have a low-level Pokemon. We won't immediately destroy whatever this poor thing is. A Cricket Todd. Alright, G-Money. Take it nice and easy on this man. We're just going for a capture, not a kill. a boy. Now we can start throwing balls at this thing. And that's our third team member. Cricket Todd. Isn't that wonderful? Now, this thing is kind of going to suck ass pretty early on. Because all it knows is Bide. So I think... Off screen, yet again, I'm just going to train him real quick. Maybe until he learns a new move or until level 5 or something. But, um, let's name you Cookie Tat. Because you're, you're a little cutie pie. Um, is that going to fit? No, it is. Sweet. Cookie Tat. Okay. Um, because if I'm not mistaken right now, all he knows is Bide. She, excuse me. Mild or whatever. I don't know what that means. That's kind of stinky. Because. Yeah, Bide's pretty. Bide is a scary, scary move in Nuzlocke's. So, off screen. Excuse me, I'm going to train Cookie Todd. I mean. No reason to show it on screen. It's just switch training. I could show it for a level, actually. Why the heck not? Um. You know what? We'll catch another Pokemon right now. Because why not? I want to get as much Pokemon as possible. Because if we were to lose... What the hell? Panpour. Well, that's a cool guy. We're going for a catch. Not a kill. G-Money. Take it easy. Alright, sweet. Panpour... Oh my god! Stop! Scaring me, Jesus. That's a new move, by the way. Hopefully we catch this guy nice and easy. I have no idea what to name this guy. Oh no, don't do this to me. You're not gonna you're not gonna be a jerk, are you? Alright, cool. Um Not really sure what to name you. It looks like you got a blue piece of broccoli on your head. Um you you're a water monkey water monkey blue broccoli that's it water monkey I really hope that fits let's see if it doesn't that's a problem water oh it totally does fit awesome water monkey oh no it doesn't fit Oh, well, I could just abbreviate Water Monkey. All right, so we got three, four team members. You know, we're finally getting ourselves going here. Cookie Tot and Water Monkey. Actually, oh, one HP. Oh my God, it's good now. We got a lot of type coverage: Dark Water, Bug, and Grass. Um, Scratch. Play nice. Play nice is a new move. It plays with the foe and lowers attack. Well, okay. So, um, I'm gonna do a bit of off-screen training, and I'm gonna end off the episode now. Thank you all for watching. Um, if you have any questions about the new series or anything, just ask in the comments. This is gonna be a high-stress series. So, I wanna thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.